We're going to write a program that takes an array of integers, prints it, calculates the cubes of the values, and prints those. Here's the partially written program with comments as pseudocode. Since we're displaying the array values twice, we might as well make that a function. This function doesn't return any value. It's a void function. We'll call it display array. And in the parentheses, we're going to give the parameter. The parameter begins with the data type, the name of our array that we're passing to it, and then in square brackets, the length of the array that the function should expect. Now the body of the function, which is a for loop to print each item. Followed by a new line. When you call the function, you give the name of the function, and then as the argument, you give the name of the array that you want to pass in. Only the name of the array, no square brackets at all. Let's build and run, and so far so good. Let's put a for loop inside of main to calculate the cubes of the elements of the array. We'll set each element to the cube of whatever was there before. Then we'll make another call to display array and put the name of the array as our argument, build, and run, and it works fine. There's room for improvement here. This code is tied down to an array with five elements. What if I were to add two more elements? Then I'd have to change this five to a seven and this one, and here, and here as well. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a constant integer named n items and set it to 7. I can't put a variable in here in the square brackets, so I'll get rid of the 7 altogether. And let's see, do the counting for me. This 7 now becomes n items. Now, when I call display array, in addition to giving the name of the array, I'm going to tell the function how many items it needs to process. And I do the same here. Since I now have two arguments, I need to change my function definition. Here, I'm going to get rid of the number in the square brackets, and I'll put another parameter, const int, and I'll give it the same name just for consistency. This 7 now becomes n items. Let's build this and run it, and everything still works great. Now, if I add more items to the array, I need to change only these two lines. Everything else will work fine because I'm passing the number of items to my function. In the next video, I'm going to show you what happens behind the scenes when C passes arrays to functions.